previously on Peaks Peak Hobby Homestead. We're gonna add some animals to the farm. There we go. We got our cows back to the farm. Welcome back Hobby Homesteaders, this is Lucas here from Peaks Peak, and this is part two of the Chronicles of Chuck and Patty. So, as you can see behind me, Chuck and Patty are back home. If you uh, watched the last video to the very end, you'll notice that uh, Chuck and Patty didn't stay on the farm very long before they went uh, on an adventure. And we had a very exciting time getting them back under control um, so that's what today's video is going to be about I'm gonna share a little bit of footage with you of some of that now in uh, the heat of battle so to speak we didn't get a whole lot of footage because uh, it took everything me and Cameron had to uh, catch these cows and get them up against the fence and herd them back toward uh, civilization um, we hiked a long way um, so I'm gonna tell that story and I'll, I'll intersperse what little bit of footage that I got there um, and hope you enjoy the video. Well, I've jogged about a mile chasing them. They made it all the way back to the pond. But I've got them headed back in the right direction now. Uh -huh. Yeah, I hear you, girl. We uh, hadn't weed eaten under our electric line yet, and it's just not hot enough. So we'll get them back in and then get it cleaned up. So it's a good thing I have good neighbors and he has good fences. So these cows ran all the way from our house, which this is probably a good half mile plus back in here, all the way down in that ravine outside of the fence. And Cameron and I had to run down through here, cross the fence and cut them off and walk them all the way back up this fence row on the other side, push them through that ravine and back up. And we were tired and they were tired. And so we finally, we stopped at the neighbor's gate there and opened it up and put them in here with his horses. So at least we wouldn't lose them. And that's where we are now. So we're gonna try to walk them up and get them put in one of his barn lots. And uh, then we'll do a little bit of work on our fences, get rid of that electric portion that failed us and uh, Try again. Yeah, I know. I'm wore out too. Y'all got me my workout. And these aren't running shoes I'm wearing. Took some briars to the face. Good workout. Chuck and Patty. Maybe that's why they're running. You reckon? I believe if somebody called me ground check, don't get ahead of them. Just, oh, uh, yeah. Go ahead. <laughs> that was some thick stuff we were in. And steep. Several, but well, driving them back at one spot. She wouldn't hardly go down. We had to push her. It was so steep. I'm glad they didn't break their legs. Yeah. I'm kind of glad we didn't break ours too. All right, cut them off. Now, if we can get them to cut across the field. All right, girls, we're gonna make a turn. You wanna make a turn? All right, we're gonna head right on down. We're going in that lot right down there. I opened the gate for you. Come on, make a turn, make a turn. Hey guys, close in a little bit. There you go, head on down, 
Head on down. We get down to this fence. We're gonna make a turn. Right here. No. Come on. Yeah. 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 There you go. Yeah. Get down there. Make them. Make the corner. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Good. Good. Come on. Right down the line. Yeah. Get down there to the gate, Cameron. Oh, it's like he... Kaden, Kaden, come on. Some what? Some fly spray. Yeah. They're already recovered in them. Yeah, we do. Well, so these are our cows and those are our four wheelers and that's our pond, but this is not our pasture. But you remember how I was saying I had a nice neighbor? So he said, pin them up in this pasture and work out my fence issues and get, give them a chance to calm down and get used to us. And then we'll load them back up in the trailer and take them home. So that sounds like a pretty good plan to me. For starters, at one point, I thought uh, that I had lost $800 because they were just running off through the woods. <laughs> but uh, anyway, so this is an improvement over that. So we'll get the rest of it ironed out and get them back home and then we'll get started raising them. So, we did catch the cows. We got them rounded up, got them in the neighbor's field, came back down, got a few supplies and some feed and stuff, and then we went back up and uh, we pushed them into his barn lot. Uh, he told us we can leave them there for a week or so until we get things rounded up. I'll show you what I did that caused these cows to get out. See, I was just putting up a little bit of temporary wire here around my feed thing so that the cows didn't get in here and get into the feed. I'd unplugged the electric fence back there behind me so that I didn't get into it while I was working on it. Well, I was standing out here shooting my clothes out for the first video there, and I didn't even realize I hadn't plugged it back in. And as I watched the cows go over to the, the wire, one of them stuck his head through it, and it didn't shock him. And my first thought was that we had grass and stuff on the fence, and maybe it wasn't hot enough for to bother him. But it's a pretty hot fence normally, so kind of surprised me, but I didn't realize it was because I left it unplugged. But anyway, so I took off running after him and uh, you know, the rest is history. So anyway, we're gonna try to be patient about this. And what I've, I've decided to do, rather than get in a rush to get them back down here since we've got them secured, and I honestly thought that uh, we might never see them again when they were running through the woods, um, I'm going to get rid of this electric wire right here that they got through to begin with. I'm just gonna go ahead, I mean, we're talking 80 feet maybe. Um, I'm gonna just go ahead and stretch woven wire through there as well. And I actually had already intended to put the electric wire, at least a strand or two, around the inside of it to keep them off of the woven wire. Um, so I'm gonna knock those things out this week before I bring them back down here. That way hopefully we don't have any more problems. So, you know, it, it is what it is. That's kind of one of my favorite sayings, but Anyway, um, I hope you enjoy laughing at me. Uh, stay with us, and I'm sure there'll be plenty more opportunities where that came from. So lots of laughs have been had at my expense because I turned my cows loose in here and lost them within a few hours. So we're going to try to make sure that doesn't happen the next time I bring them home. What I decided is since they had already been through the fence once, I was afraid that even if I charge it, that uh, they might still go through it after that. So I didn't want to take any chances as hard as it was to track them down in these hills and woods. So <clears throat> I'm going to take this four strands of electric wire here out and put in woven wire. And then once I get my woven wire up, I'm actually going to stretch electric all the way around the inside of the fence just to keep the cows off of it. Um, that way we'll have two layers of protection here. I definitely don't want them getting out toward the road and causing somebody to get hurt or something like that. So we're going to go a little bit overkill at this point. That way we make sure this don't happen again and hopefully it'll be a while before everybody laughs at me again. But probably not. All right.
stretching the electric wire. We unspooled it all around the field. Caden's going around. He's put it all in the insulators, all the way around the field, in the rain. He's a good worker. Now, if you noticed in our last video, we got them loaded in the trailer by uh, luring them in, in there with bread. So over the last few days, we have spent our time going up there to feed them and we've hand fed them bread to kind of get them used to us and get them calmed down so that we could also use that same tactic to get them loaded again. American lizard. Where'd you find him? I'm not good to read things. That Kate, let me see him. It's cow moving day. And we're going to move them back down to the house today. Let him start climbing on me. <laughs> I'm not a very big guy. <laughs> longer than you live here. Chuck and Patty. Oh, that's a good 
It's a cow farm. There you all are. How you guys doing? What's up? Huh? You guys happy to be back home? You don't really know this is home yet, do you? But you will. You'll get used to us. You'll like us. <laughs> Chuck's like, wait for me. <laughs> Well, they're settling in. They're up here eating with the chickens now. I think they like their new home. <laughs> we'll give them those little cattle cubes. Caden calls that cherries on top. All right, so be sure and come back and watch our next video. Probably be some more excitement in it. See y'all later.